Configuring views is imperative in creating an efficient programming interface, and it's easy on the Grand Mall too. Much like the Grand Mall 1, you can click anywhere on a blank screen, and this pop-up will allow you to choose a window to open. There are five tabs to choose from. Sheets for fixture sheets, channel sheets, and other lists of information. Pools for the windows of objects that can be selected, like groups. Presets like dimmer, color, gobo, etc. Playback options, which is new, and these are the views of what's currently programmed on your executor playback. And the other tab, which contains everything else. Once you've created a window, you can move it about the screen by clicking on the text title and dragging it wherever you want. You can resize the window by clicking on the bottom right hand corner and dragging it to your desired size. By clicking on the yellow ball, you'll find the window's settings options, which includes a delete window button. This will allow you to create the windows to suit any need that you might have. Once you've set up the windows to your liking, you may store the view like before by pressing store and then a button down the right hand side. Like the series one, you can choose which of the six monitors are included in your store settings. Note that the multi-touch screen is also an option. When you want to clear a screen, you'll hold down this encoder hard key. When you do this, you'll notice an option at the bottom right corner of every screen to either clear that screen or clear all screens. If you've created a single screen view, it is possible to copy or move this view to other screens using the move or copy keys. For example, I can move this screen from one monitor by pressing the Move key, selecting the view, and then touching a View button on this screen. Now when you select this view, it will pop up on this monitor. If you choose to copy the view, you'll be able to access it in two different places. The same is possible with external screens. You can copy to external monitors, and of course you can set up the external monitors in exactly the same way as your onboard screens. The only difference is you might need a mouse to do this. If you don't have a mouse plugged in, you can use the trackball. When in mouse mode, the buttons above your trackball work as your left, middle, and right clicks. Remember that to use the trackball as a mouse, press the mouse button until it is lit up with a solid LED. If the button is off, the trackball has no functionality. If it's flashing, then it's serving as a pan and tilt positioner for your movers. On the Grand Mall 2 Ultralight, if the middle mouse button is lit, your trackball is working as a level wheel. 